um, watch expressions. Actually, let's let's do one. Let's do a watch expression. They're fun. I'm gonna go ahead and put in a watch expression, and I'm gonna give it the name of woe dot count. Look what happens. It says first of all, woe is null. Well, when I hit F10, woe now has a count of zero. When I hit F10 again, it now has a count of one, two, three, and so on. Another really fun thing that I doubt anybody here is going to use, but you might as well know it exists, is the intermediate window. I use the intermediate window a lot while debugging. What does the intermediate window allow you to do? It allows you to type in any C-sharp code that you want, hit enter, and have it execute. Immediate window, sorry. I, I saw, I don't know what I saw. I saw something and it wasn't what I was supposed to see. Anyway, so I can actually type in arbitrary C-sharp code into the immediate window and watch it execute. And I know it's executing because look at my watch expression over here. It's increasing the count of woe. If I go back to locals, I can expand it and I can actually see that I'm altering the data by typing in C-sharp code. I can really type in almost any C-sharp code that I want, including C-sharp code that results in exception. Well, that results in compile error. Um, I could do int.parse, blah, and I get an exception. Input string was not in the correct format. So with the immediate window, you can sit there and type in any C-sharp code you want. With some caveats, again, you can't use lambdas. Um, believe you can use anonymous, anonymous delegates. I don't believe you can use, uh, no, I think that's actually a new feature of 2012 is that you can use extension methods. Actually, let's see if we can use extension methods. I can't remember. Oh yeah, we can. But we still can't use lambdas. Anyway, the, <laughs> the point of that was, again, you're not gonna use the immediate window very often starting out. But no, it exists, because it might really be the one thing that's the difference between sitting there bashing your face against the keyboard and trying to fix a problem and being able to understand what exactly is going on.